it was a quiet, calm rise, and it happened in a matter of minutes. This was the first time that a storm scared me. I initially thought, holy crap, are we gonna die here? Nobody really thought that this amount of devastation could be wrought at one time. I'll tell you right now, the wind is crazy. Look at my feet. I'm standing on an island here. You hear on the radio or you hear on the news that, you know, a hurricane's coming. And surfers pray for a surf. They only pray for hurricanes. You pray for these things. You, you know, some people say, you know, uh, be careful what you wish for. And the hurricane wetted everything and it ate all the weapon stuff. The hurricane ate our house. It got dark and the water came up fast. There's nowhere to go. Nobody's coming to help us. And I felt guilt, like you can't believe at that point. How could I have done this to my family? How could I have put them in this situation? Totally trapped. We were totally trapped on the second floor. We couldn't come out of the second floor for at least two days. A friend risked himself and his boat and he came and got me. My dog and I got in his boat and I slept on his couch. Sorry. Saw the water creeping up to the front steps. And uh, at that point, uh, I became very scared for what was gonna happen here. We didn't think Sandy was coming in the house. We thought that it was just another storm the garage door buckled and the and everything was being swished around like a washing machine and everything just came in and the water was and then it then it became quiet and it was dark pitch black and the lights went out we had nothing we had nothing with us we had uh sweats uh, no shoes um, no no shoes nothing i just thought like all right so we rip out sheetrock we rip out the floors whatever but it was like a hundred times worse. You know, you don't think about all the other things that get destroyed, you know, when water comes. It's just a big, gross mess. You can't go home because you don't have a home. I mean, it's there, but it's inhabitable. You, you can't go home. I decided I wasn't going anywhere. I was staying here. Uh, I have two pets that I have to take care of, and uh, I made it comfortable and warm so that I could survive here. People called me crazy for staying. I disregarded what they said. It's, this is mine. I own this. I put my life into this, so I'm not going. My father and I built the house, uh, 69, 70. He finished it when I went into the service. My daughter grew up here. The idea of just uh, walking away uh, just, although I thought about it, it, uh, it wasn't what I wanted. First two days you cry and you, you're in shock. I lost everything and then it hits you when a week goes by and you need to eat, you're cold, you have no electricity, and um, when the sun comes up in the morning, that's your only light. He told me, he goes, you shouldn't be doing anything because it's all gonna have to be ripped out if you wanna raise the house. <sighs> so. So not good. No. That means months that we won't be home. We're all displaced now. And um, you just want to go home. 
And I can't wait to go home. I'm gonna go home soon. <laughs> You've only got the clothes on your back. Um, it's been three days. You really need a shower. So what do you go now? I mean, what do you do? Where do you go? I burned to the ground. I, there was nothing. There wasn't any wood left in my house. I, I mean, look, we're fortunate enough to have had insurance protection, and but then you, you've got to prove to the insurance company that you had losses. You know, okay, what did you lose, sir? Hmm. Uh, well, we lost everything. Well, what's everything? Well, everything is everything. <laughs> how do you, how do you document that? You know, that's 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 disgusting. The options were limited. Either you walk away or you repair. If you're going to repair, you got to repair to the point where you don't suffer this again. The cost to repair the whole first floor would come very close to what it would be to build a brand new house. So, I mean, just having the peace of mind of having a new house on a sound foundation meant more to me than repairing something that you don't even know if it's even fully repairable, you know? I want to be home. I want to have cooked meals. Well, we live in a co-op with seven or eight buildings, and uh, it's two floors. Even though our apartment was okay, everybody had to get out because it was dangerous to live there. And so in the meantime, we, uh, I have been going from house to house. Stephen's been living in the apartment up to... Right now it's day 43. And it uh, looks like this is gonna be how it is till March. It's difficult w when you... Well, you would think it might be easy. I mean, if I was outside looking in and say, oh, look how lucky they are, they could build themselves a new house. That's not the case. <laughs> It's just not easy, and it's not nice, and it's depressing. If you would like to apply for disaster assistance, please press 1. We did not recognize your response. Please try again. Every day, it's fighting with somebody, and we're not, nothing's like happening. You know, and it's never going to be enough. I don't have a decision on it at this time. Um... Okay, do you know how long it's going to take? Because it's been almost two weeks now. SBA loans, insurance, like, it's just a constant fighting every day. It's very, very draining and mentally, like, straining. The power of love. Good song. Oh, what is this? Uh, it's a little scary at night. When I'm sleeping, I'm holding on to a machete because I don't want anybody coming through my door. And that makes it nice and sharp. It's supposed yeah. to have electricity on the 19th of January. Yeah. And we're supposed we're to have, have no water. Water, water on the 14th of February. We don't have heat, we don't have water, but we're going to go camping in the house on Christmas Eve. You're welcome, mm -hmm. sweetheart. Yeah. Wish we had the house back together again, but what are you going to do? I feel like today is Christmas when they came to build. I felt like today was like Christmas morning. I think I got up 6 o'clock in the morning just to wait for them to come. <laughs> Main power feed uh, from the building will be turned on when all of them are hooked together. Uh, they're almost yeah. they're almost ready to turn the power on to all four apartments up here. By being without power for 83 days, it's it's like a it's like a birthday present. It's something I've been waiting for for a long time. Well, oh, God. Forget. So the lift is 13-1, something like that, and we already... The choice was elevate my house 
to the point where it would be safe from a similar occurrence. You know, so that's you've gotten me that much closer to getting back in my house. Yep, There's a, you can see the end now. The piles are in, so the masons can come in and... Well, let's say the beginning of the end. Every day, all day, I eat, breathe, and live Sandy. There's not a day that goes by that I don't need to make a phone call. There's not a day that goes by that delivery isn't coming, that something needs to be done. And this is a constant. It's just become, a, it's become my life. It's become my job. That's all. It's just, it's just a part of life now. We finally got all the permits to demolish and the house came down on February 25th. DJ's room. So when the disaster happened, they said, I'm not eligible for the property loss loan. So probably one of the hardest things is, is just waiting for the money and all the different rules. My flood insurance, my driver's, driver's license. license. It's been four months and I just got my insurance check. And by no means is it enough to put the homes back together again. We still have the floors to be laid. We still have painting, sheet rocking, um, plumbing to do. So this is not over. I'm talking about the basement. We're at about 80%. Upstairs, zero. <laughs> so there's a lot. There's a lot to be done. For those that believe that there is a hereafter and that we have a consciousness of what was, I hope my dad sees this. I'm saving what was his dream. It's very difficult. There are some times when they're doing construction or they're doing things and I just want to cry. You know, just when my contractor said, I need something from the store, I need this, and I just broke down. I said, I, I just can't do this anymore. I'm just tired. I'm exhausted. I don't want to go to the store anymore. I don't want to run around. I don't want to, I don't care. Some days I just don't care. Together we kind of locked arms. We got a lot stronger getting across and pulled each other. And the wind is blowing at 60, 70 miles an hour. House is on fire behind you. You're freaking out. It's dark. How far did you have to go? I mean, the stood right in that window and watched it burn. You know that? This is just like a funeral. That's what it feels like. And yet I feel lucky. It's weird. That's the whole point of having the Board of Appeals. I know, but this is special circumstances. I would not, I did not choose to knock down my house and build the new house. I understand that, but you're choosing to go above the minimum requirement. Today is now May 31st and Hopefully, on June 3rd, they'll start to drive the piles. So, seven months and a couple of days, and we still have nothing. People are rebuilding, and we're coming back. So, we're on the road to, to back to where we were. Yeah, you take this one. You're home. I'm home. He's walking around in circles again. It's day 191, and we got about 20 families that have moved back, and there's... It's good to see some cars here, I'm telling yeah. you. Mm. It's really good to see, and familiar faces. And it's July, you got to, and if it's a variance, it's at least two months, six weeks to two months away, just to even get it approved. So you can't break ground. Who knows? Who knows when he's going to be finished? He didn't give me a day, you know? Right. He won't. He won't give me a day. So you, it's not going to be tomorrow. Right. And it won't be next week from what I'm looking at. So you're looking at two weeks, maybe. Right. And then another six weeks. 
that's two months plus give or take a week or two when they they, they don't do any work and uh, I don't know who knows you can't break ground until October here we are 10 months plus past the storm and I'm still living in a house with uh, limited ungrounded electricity no plumbing I'm disillusioned, disheartened. It has beat me up mentally, physically, emotionally. I'm beating myself up over it. So I think at this point, uh, the reality is I have to walk away. Whether I'll come back and do anything, I don't know. But for now, I have to separate myself from this nightmare. It's October 10th, it's almost been a year. We're maybe like 65% done. Having you here makes me feel safer. Having you here is, is what I've been missing for six months. In a way, I think Sandy might have brought us closer, mm. even though we were apart. And now yeah. we could start all over again. Yeah. You know, one door closes, another one opens up. You just change direction in life. It's, that's really it. You're uh, a ball of motion and energy, and energy never really stops or fades, just changes direction. Move on, get over it, accept the loss, and uh, hopefully tomorrow will be better. There really isn't much more I can give you than that. It was a humbling experience. It was, you know, as traumatizing as it was, Sometimes it's a good thing. You gotta lose everything to bring yourself back down to a new level, a different grounding, as you say, a new beginning. And makes you appreciate a lot, of, lot more things in life when you, everything that you thought was important really isn't important. It's nice to know that you can actually think about what's important. And it's not the stuff, not the stuff you have. It's who's around you and, 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 and people who care. Yep. I would never move. Um, I might evacuate next time, but <laughs> I'm still never going to move. Evacuation would probably be a, a good thing, but it's my home. It's the place where I love to be. I'm not moving. <laughs>